was that? I've never heard that before. You guys heard that, right? They didn't add a new machine, did they? Like, I'm very certain I've seen just about everything in this game, but... Maybe not? What the hell is that? What's up guys, I'm Echo, and welcome back to Generation Zero. Now, we are finally back in the world of Generation Zero. I have been doing this series for a very, very long time now, and over the past maybe four or three weeks, I'll put it up on screen how long it's been. But, we I haven't been able to do an episode, whether it be a love-hate relationship with the editing software that I use, I mean, not knowing just how long it would take to render, audio files corrupting, or me simply not having the energy to record one of these. I have not exactly been able to get an episode done, but I am finally back. I am finally able to do this, and I am so glad. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, corrupted audio? Yes. The first file I've ever had corrupt on me from Audacity was the Generation Zero episode, which was meant to go up. I had a thumbnail and everything made, and then I found out the audio was fucked. But it was completely my fault. I did. I, I handled something in the wrong way, and it ended up causing the file to get corrupted. So it was entirely my fault, and I was generally pissed at myself because it would have been a great episode. But what happened in that episode was we went to another one of the bunkers on that list of bunkers you had to reactivate the warboards on. We went there, I reactivated it. I don't think there's anything special in here, but yeah, we reactivated that, and we now it's more missions. But I'm guessing you guys don't care, because, like, I've gone through so many bunkers in this series so far. And honestly... I want to know, I, I and this is something that I've been really curious about, what about this series do you guys like so much? What is it about this series that makes so many people want to watch it? Because this, outside, well, before I did the first Strand Deep episode, which has done amazingly well for my channel and has brought a whole lot of people to my channel, and now... In general, a lot of people see my videos, and a lot of my videos do have decent, but before that, Generation Zero did really well. What of this game or this series makes it do so well? Is there not a lot of other people doing series on this? Like, is it me? Like, <laughs> what do you guys like so much? Leave a comment down below saying. That'd be nice, but... Okay, we're in this bunker... What do we want to do? Yeah, my inventory is about the same as before. Um, ooh, close to level up. Nice. Um, we have a new bunker, because I, I crossed through the northern region, so we have another warboard bunker. Um, oh, we have... Ooh, okay. So, oh, I just noticed those. So, fighting, searching, searching gas factory huh we got three how about we investigate uh <laughs> how about we investigate the ufo because that's what this one's about um a few days before the cataclysm frederick friendy bloom a man living in lila a suburb neighborhood located in the southwest of the city of Oskarvik reported seeing a flying machine, but police did not take him seriously. Later that same night, several people living in various places on Osma were murdered, simultaneously including one of Frederick's neighbors in Lela. Evidently, there is more to this that, that than, than the mere ramblings of a prank caller or an alien nutjob. Go to Leila in order in order to find out where he lived and how the murders fit into the whole invasion. Well, we clearly know what it's talking about, the little shits that bring B 
big machines here, but actually no. Because people would have heard that and there would have been big machines around. And there is a recording, so let's go ahead and listen to it real quick. This is Emil Sandberg for the news on SR4 November 8th. As we have previously reported this morning, it became evident that several people were killed around the Östertörn area during the night. Police is being restricted with the details, but sources to SR4 confirm that over 10 victims have been found. It is unclear at this point to what extent, if any, these murders are connected. One of the victims was found in the Lillå neighborhood in Östervik, and SR4 talked to one of the neighbors who had been in contact with the police, Fredrik Blom. It's horrible. Even when I warned them, I saw the flying metal thing going right over her house last night, you know. I told the police, but they didn't believe me. It's true. You know, Uncle Kalle was right. They did it. It was the damn aliens. Yeah, sounds pretty insane, and well, yes, we do in fact know that it is not aliens, but in fact, the Russians, the... I haven't the slightest clue. Well, we know it was not aliens, we're not exactly sure what it was, because, well, yes, we have ran, in, we've had run-ins with flying machines before, we have never had run-ins with lethal flying machines unless you consider them attracting a bunch of attention to you lethal which technically it is to a degree but only in a certain way them themselves are not lethal so you know and there was no bodies i mean bodies of robots i love how this game has made me cons consider the difference between a human body and the body of a robot Considering that no robot bodies were found from what I can tell, there's a strong possibility that it may be something new we've never ran into. First things first, I have to figure out how the freak I get out of here. I think I came in this way, through here, yep, ghost door. There we go, thank you ghost. Oh yeah, this area. Ugh. Yeah, we're in a cold area now. I think gotta have my jacket. Oh yeah, for anyone new to this series, I look like a dollar store Marty McFly. Eh, sounds about right. Uh, so you may not even get that reference. I only get that reference because I've seen Back to the Future and I absolutely love those fucking movies. If I ever do face cam, I'm probably gonna have like shouts in the background with things from the games I play, but there will probably also be a hoverboard from that movie in the background as well. I want to get one of those. Maybe the shoes as well and like the jacket because that'd be so freaking cool. Oh my god, I love those movies so well, so much. I love most movies. It's very difficult to make a movie I don't enjoy, but for me to properly love a movie, it has to be really freaking good. <sighs> you know, I'm pretty sure a really long time ago, a note told me that I probably shouldn't be moving around during the night. I should probably move around more so during the day, but like, who cares considering I get attacked no matter what? Are you kidding me? Oh, hi. Okay, eat my shiny metal ass, you dickbags. Okay, we gotta run. We gotta run. I don't have the proper guns. Wood tree, you're gonna get me killed. Oh, how funny. Nature's gonna get me killed by... Gonna allow the machines to kill me. Oh my god, this is a really steep slope. Holy Christ. There is no way they can follow me down here. Oh, there's no way they can freaking follow me down here, right? Right? I I need to heal. No, 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 no. They can definitely follow me. Shit, that's a health pack gone. Oh, come on. Come on. Why? Why, 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 why? Why? Why can this not be easy? Why is there gotta be so many of them? 
Oh, Christ. This game is getting more and more difficult as time goes on. Oh, what? What? Oh, I'm near something. I found something, okay. Oh, Christ. I just thought of something really funny. If, like, um... If during Halloween they dress up the, uh, machines in costumes... Oh, that'd be amazing. That'd be freaking incredible. Hello? Housekeeping... Housekeeping... Hello? Anyone here? Still haven't figured out the crafting thing yet. I really don't need to right now, considering it's still... Not a finished thing. You guys hear that, right? Hopefully. I'm concerned about the freaking washing machines now. I swear to God, I'm gonna have my back turned to one. It's gonna freaking jam me up the ass with something. Hello? I've been here before. All oh, right, the containers full of these ass whites. Seriously, wish I had a silencer for this rifle. If I did, that would be nice. Game, stop chugging. What's that? I've never heard that before. You guys heard that, right? They didn't add a new machine, did they? Like, I'm very certain I've seen just about everything in this game, but... Maybe not? What the hell is that? What? Oh, wait a minute. That's a very different hunter. That's a very different hunter. It had some kind of reanimator agent in a tank on the back of it. I've heard of these toxic, toxic ones. I think they're radioactive. Poison, basically. They hit you with a poison. But I've never actually seen any before. I'm gonna need some slug. Because I don't think I want to get hit by those guys. This freaking game peaks my audio. Peaks the freaking audio so much. And not just my voice audio. Game audio as well. Christ. It. Their freaking tanks are heavily armored as well. That is so cool. I do not want to be in a place where that thing can see me. Don't make me stand up to do that. Oh, you dick. They made me freaking stand up. Safe house unlocked. Nice. I think now I should be able to teleport here if need be. Good. Good, 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 good. Um... I don't want to hit it with my sniper. Um, I don't think I want to give that thing a chance to stay standing after it gets hit. Let's go for heavy armory. A heavy armory? A heavy sniper. Where is it? I can see it's there. You know what? I was about to say, I haven't been in a church for like, how long? Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, they saw me. Oh, hi. Huh. 
That did nothing. That did absolutely nothing. Did I get it? No, it's still up. The hell? Its armor is on the ground, burning, and it does not care. Thank Christ. Okay, I don't even kind of want these things to touch me. These... These things are so freaking powerful. It took so many shots. I've only... Little guys like that don't take that much to bring down, but those guys... They're little and dangerous. Fear if I'm too close to get me. Is that a Geiger counter I hear? Oh my god, they turn the little shits radio- Do they have stingers? Are you kidding me right now? Those things were annoying enough, but now they have freaking stingers? You know what? I know there's landmines in this game. That's where they would be useful. It's setting them up at doorways for those little shits to run into. Ow, 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 drop and roll, drop. That actually work? Freaking dropping and rolling? Okay, note to self. Christ has a long reach. Oh, okay, nope, 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 nope. I do not want to be a French fry today. I did not want to know what it felt to become a French fry. What it felt to what it feels like to become a French fry. I did not want to know that. Holy crap. Hi. Oh, what? 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 They can reach up here? Are you kidding me? Oh, well, that's just freaking great. I just unequip my shotgun. Great. Oh, that's got some kind of fire on each other. XP did I lose? Like a thousand. Ah, screw you guys. Ah, screw you specifically. I am floating. Ah, uh, excuse me. Uh, I ain't safe in the stairwell. Bye. I think we fi we're finally done. Oh, we can finally start looting bodies and... Oh my Christ. This game is really freaking difficult by yourself. Because you don't have friends to get you up. You're just constantly surrounded. And constantly being shot at. And you have no one that can draw the attention away from you. So you always have to watch your back. Oh, Christ. Freaking sucks. Freaking sucks, man. I wish you could, like, 
put a marking on these guys to tell you which ones you searched and which ones you haven't. Oh, Christ. We have a safe house at least, so now we can go looking for what we were supposed to be looking for here. Um, is this a house? Is this it? No, it's a little further this way. Okay. This way, I'm pretty sure the loud, like, gunfire. Whenever I first started playing this game, it, like, really scared the shit out of me. And yes, I have turned it down some. I think I'm, in general, a little... I guess I kind of zone it out a lot more now. I'm not sure what it's, what it's called when you hear something so much that you start to just kind of zone it out. Hey, level gain. This is not the place to do this, but whatever. Um. What the ability of scavenging and commencing at their damage? Let's get this one, just because I want to start working towards the final ones. Explosive X Burger. Nice. May actually get some components this episode. Probably not. Probably not. Game, why are you... Holy crap, game. Okay, hold on, hold on. Something is really screwing with the game. I gotta reload. Occasionally this happens where the game just slows down so much and it makes no sense why it happens. There's no consistency to what leads up to it doing that, so not really a way I can prevent it. You know what's worse than getting poisoned by a murderous robot? Being part of the 95, 99% of people who aren't subscribed who are currently watching this content. Just worse. As bad as radiation poisoning, so if you don't want to be radiatedly poisoned, then think about subscribing. I am finally in Lilla. Find a public map map of Lilla of the Li Lilla neighborhood. Oh Christ! Thank God we're finally in this place. Okay. Find object. Nice. Okay. There's something to search over this way. Should I be looking up? Maybe, maybe not, I'm not sure. Ah, son of a bitch. No, you don't. I guess you just need to push. I'll lay my guard down until the game tells me I can.
Duh. Oh. Oh. This is not good. At this point, I'm mainly interested in the green ones. The, like, these orange ones. These ones I'm not really all that interested in because they don't really give much good ammo. I'm interested in the green ones, not the orange ones. The ones have better ammo. Right. <gasps> yes! Gimme! Nice. Map. Eh. Uh. Duplicating the residential suburbs located to the west and south of the town of Oyster and There are some old town roads located in streets. Okay, 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 okay. Holy crap, this mission has a lot of steps to it. Find a phone booth. Okay. Seriously? I'm having to look up the phone number? Okay. In the phone book, two friends are listed, but only one lives in. Oh, I'm using it to figure out to find people. Okay, for Boone's house. So I'm working through the clues I have to figure out what happened. Was that a thing? Would towns, like, have phone books in phone booths? Because I know what a phone booth is. So, you know, I'm young, but I'm not that ignorant. But was that a thing where they like had phone books in there with the specific residences of that town labeled in them? Is that actually a thing? Because if so, that would be really clever and really cool. I'm expecting the worst here. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Just shut the front door on that one. Oh, that is big and scary. Uh, what is that? Newspaper. Okay. On November 8th, 1989, the newspaper featured a series of murders on the front page story. 14 people killed last night around Austin. The whole region of Austin is in shock after the gruesome murders. The police have no explanation as of yet. According to some reports, several of the victims were working for the FOA, the Swedish National Defense Research Institution, although no official connection has been confirmed at the time of writing. One of the victims is Dr. Igor Gervis, a respected bio biologist and researcher who rose to prominence when she and Dr. Svent von Ulmer won the Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine for their breakthrough discoveries on I'm not oh no wait neurotransmit transmission transmitters in 1970 she was married to Bert Gavin a superintendent with the Olsen police and lived her whole life on a farm called Lilla which in decently gave its name to Utsin's newest suburb district when it rose from the ground on her parents' former farm grounds in the late 1950s. Okay, that's really nice. A lot of reading, but really nice. Oh, hi, buddy. Oh, yep, number five. That's like the fifth level 
of one of those you can find and that is as scary as they sound Man, the kids rooms always have ammo box in them No, that guy was not actually crazy. Hey, someone's playing solitaire. Oh, if it wouldn't attract the attention of that thing, I would absolutely shoot that solitaire right now. I gotta go to that guy's house. Now, the doctor's house, which is gonna be a pain in the ass with that thing out there. Hey, that's a gas factory mission. Well, good to know I have a waypoint nearby, so I'll probably be ready to the next episode, but let's place a waypoint here just so I don't get confused. I had to go across town. I had to go this way. And the jackass is behind me, so I'm fine. Oh, fuck, I'm not. There's a fence here. What the hell am I supposed to do? something I just thought of we were a tourist we were a touring teenager night well um, young adults but still we were a tourist I believe and whenever we were trying to leave our boat got shot and destroyed which is why we started where we started so I kind of have a question how the fuck is a tourists figuring this shit out how are we figuring out what to do how are we so good with the guns yeah i wasn't exactly good in the beginning but like i wasn't bad or incompetent oh yikes we'd seen a lot of farmhouses but yikes this one is in pretty bad shape Ooh. I've seen some Ooh, wow wow these things did a number on this one yikes I would not want this to be a safe house Ooh, too many flashing lights probably twin girls wandering around trying to ask me to join them forever um house look for a spare key hidden somewhere around Ingar's house oh really i'm having to go looking for a spare freaking key are you kidding me oh hey it was under the pot plant nice no seriously that looks like a pot plant <laughs> okay let's go oh christ wow just wow. 
Yikes, mate. Ooh, so they busted in through the windows, shot up the first room. He managed to get the door closed, but then they ended up busting that down, injuring him in the process, but not killing him. Chase him upstairs. Oh, yep, yep. Where he probably got injured more. He crawled away. Oh. This room looks fairly untouched, so he probably didn't end up coming in here. Yep, because he went this way. Oh, mate. Yikes. That is not a way to go. Oof, mate. Came in here and was shot to death. Yikes. Well, you know what? You do crap yourself in debt, so at least he died very close to a toilet. <laughs> That's not very respectful. <laughs> Poor guy. Uh, apparently what I need is in here. Hey, honey. Look, ah, here we go. Sorry, but I'll need to work quite late tonight again. Guess you'll be watching the game at your brother's anyway, right? Svante's condition is um, not improving at all, and we we finally made the decision today. I know it's the right thing to do, but I can't help feeling that I've let him down after everything. Maybe we could talk for a bit when I get home. Love you. Oh, poor guy. To think he was probably getting in, turned into Swiss cheese at that very moment when she called. <laughs> oh, I am so sorry. There's only one more clue. Which seems to be outside, I think. Ooh. Oh, I could have moved any of the pop plants. Okay. Murder. What? Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. No. No. No, 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 no. No, you don't. Don't you start. There's only one more clue, and it's right there. Degrees journal, I believe it said. Dr. Ingrid Greaves recent research notes. Dr. Ingrid was apparently one of the scientists. Oh my Christ, can I read? Can I freaking read, please? Please, just let me read. Dr. Ingrid was apparently one of the scientists working on FOA 53. She got a few haphazard notes of her work. A uh, convergence program with ROs currently stalled. Success, success only at an experimental level. Test results on rats stable with good repro rates but only takes a few minutes with the connection of the AU to be lost. Experiment only conclusive in sterile environment. Live test is not surreal, is in non-sterile environments, not possible for the foreseeable future. Rolling out the new procedure for immune system suppression, chemical injections daily, the cunning's response to for four to eight hours, depending on the, s on the subject, a 30% increase over ratio. Seventh is sick again. Think he's lost weight. Told him he's working himself to death. But he wouldn't talk to me. Christ. Wait. On sterile environments. Incessant pressure chemical injection daily. Are they talking about the gas? 
The gas that we keep finding in the bunkers? Because that's what it sounds like. Like immune system suppression. Um, it can't be outside of a sterile environment like the bunkers. Um, it's a chemical. It sounds like they're talking about the gas that we keep running into. Interesting, but we'll have to look into that a little bit more at the gas factory next time. Because for right now, this is the end of the episode. I've been recording for too long. Christ, these freaking robots have made this impossible. But for right now, hope you guys enjoyed. This has been a whole lot of fun. If you did enjoy, think about clicking that box there, which would take you to the playlist with the rest of these episodes in it. Think about clicking that box above it if you want to see what YouTube thinks you should watch. That box next to you next to it will take you to my other latest video and then that bubble above it will take you to my channel where you can browse the list of things that i have worked on but for right now hope you guys enjoyed this has been a whole lot of fun and i will see all of you next time goodbye